How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today I'm going to try to do this right here. I'm going to try to clean out that area back there with the John Deere 450, right? And so you see a lot of trees and a lot, but this just a little patch. I'm going to walk you around it here in a sec. But if you notice on the intro on the way up here, I, I've had the blade down just a little bit trying to work on this road. But here's the thing is I don't want to, I don't want to cause more damage to the road than I can repair. And that's why I'm waiting for my father-in-law to get here and Sonny to get here because they actually know what they're doing. So if you look at this road right here, it's got killer amounts of washout. And so I put the blade down for a little bit and you saw another little piece up there. But what I don't want to happen is to make it go so deep that it eventually, I'll have to bring truckloads of dirt in here to repair the damage that I've done by trying to smooth it out. So I'm gonna let the professionals come in here and do that because they, I mean, my, my father-in-law has been building roads and woods his whole life probably. So I'm gonna let him do that. And then we're just gonna take care of the demolition stuff <laughs> where we can just, you know, knock over trees and stuff. You can see, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I am having a field day on this dozer. But let's go look at the section that we're gonna clear out today. I'm gonna leave the big trees, get rid of the small, small underbrush, but I'm gonna show it to you right now. So this road goes back here and then I think you can make out that road. That's where we park the dozers right there. But there's a road that goes around this way. Let me show you where they connect. So this is where that road comes out. And this road, I just walked down this road to give you that. The dozers parked right there. So it comes out here and it just makes a loop over this. I mean, that ain't even a quarter acre maybe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the big stuff and then take care like this big tree, even though it looks dead. I don't know if it's dead because it's winter, but it looks dead, period. But all this stuff right here, I'm just going to push it and get it out of the way and just have a clean lot of nice big trees that you can look at, walk through. The deer can walk through a little more easy, you know, because those deer, they're not used to walking through all this stuff. They don't like that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, that's what's on the agenda today. It shouldn't take us. Hmm, We've got rain coming. So I'll work on it until it starts raining. Might get, might get an hour or two on it. But if it starts raining, I gotta get these cameras covered up. That's a bad thing about having this electrical equipment, you know? All right, let's get started. As we make our way back up to the dozer, did y'all see that video of Gina pushing those trees over? She did good, didn't she? If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Look here. Baby tracks.
All right, let's take a look at seeing what we've done so far. <laughs> it's so fast. I mean, I ain't been out here probably, I'm serious, I've probably been out here half hour. Let's take a look. So this is where we started. So we got that, got that, got this and this. I'm leaving this because there's the clumps of trees are too close together for the width of the blade and they all look healthy. So I'm gonna leave that. I got a front brush cutter from King Welding I can use on my tractor to do that. And then we did this, and now we're just gotta work on this. Oh, and then I did this too. So a couple things that I've realized while I'm working. When you're working in trees like this, you have to be really, really careful of this kind of stuff right here. It's still attached that back here, and that stuff will you know, get caught in the tracks and it'll, it'll sling dirt in your eyes or it'll pop up and cut. So I go, I'm going really, really slow for two reasons. One, trying to be safe. Number two, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but hey, it's working. I'll get all this leveled out or I'll get somebody else to come level it out, but I'll get all the big stuff out of the way. But you eat an elephant one bite at a time at this point. Oh, and another thing I want to tell you, I thought that like this tree right here, that tree's dead. There's nothing on it, so I might as well push it over, but I worked my way around it because I thought it might still be alive. From looking at the cab of the dozer, I thought, well, that tree's alive, so I'll go around it. It would have saved me 15 minutes just to knock it over and go. But I'm trying to save all the big trees. Something that I've realized, though, there's not that many big trees in here. And so I was like, man, I've got to weave my way around here. But to be honest with you, there's only a few big live trees in here. Like that big tree right there, it's dead, so I'm gonna knock it over. There's a couple back and forth in there that I'll save, but for the majority of it, man, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mow it down. I mean, there's no sense in saving that right there. I might be able to push that over with my hand. All right, let's get back to work. Enough talking. Take care of that too.
getting a lot more done. I mean, it's, it's just looking so good out here. But like I say, I'm really surprised the, the, the amount of trees that I have to knock over because I thought I was going to be saving a lot more. But listen, I might be some dumb, but I ain't plum dumb. You know what I'm saying? You guys see that magnolia tree right there? That's mama's favorite. So guess who's staying away from that? <laughs> yeah, man. So that thing right there is nice and healthy. And so you can see I've cleared. I, I got probably two feet right there, and that's close enough. And I'm going to start over there. I'm not even going to get close to this root structure because if that tree dies, I probably die. <laughs> anyway, look how much we got done. Another hour, we'll have this thing knocked out. If I was a skilled operator, we'd be done already. Well, the rain's coming down, so just in time because I just got finished. Let's take a look. That's where we started. Got all this cleaned up. All that cleaned up. Left those big trees. Got all that cleaned up back to there. Man, this dozer makes quick work of it. Super simple. You guys, take care. God bless you guys. We'll see you on the next one.